What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. It has been a few weeks since we've covered the Empire's SMP, so we are back taking a look at it again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. So first up today on the Empire's SMP server is Flip. And Fwip has been doing a lot of work. We saw him just build up a gold farm. We can see him doing some work on terraforming mountains and also building a mech that is gonna completely destroy all the trees in its path. Fwip has definitely been doing a lot of very interesting stuff on this server. And I think this build looks absolutely incredible. He wants to build up a garage for it too. So it'll be great to see that and see when this invasion actually takes place. Next up, we are checking out Jim Nite, who as we'll look here first, is also building trees on this server as well as Hermitcraft. This one is for Solidarity and it's going in the Cod Empire, it's kind of a swamp tree. What I actually thought was great about this tree is since Minecraft Live was just yesterday and we got a look at the new mangrove trees, this is actually kind of looking like a mangrove tree, at least this one towards the wall does. Jim and Ite also battled against Mythical Sausage. Uh, this was a huge turning point in the lore of the server as Mythical Sausage was killed and fall, fell off the tower. So now he is on a redemption arc in this server and living out the life of a good guy now. Definitely a huge finish to that Zornoth arc and it's great to see all the role playing that is happening on this server. Looks absolutely amazing. We can see here the wizard Jim Nite blasted Mythical Sausage off the tower with her staff and of course is now wearing a giant wizard hat with her beautiful wings on her back. She's also done some work on her base as well. She actually made a fortified guard tower at the front of her base where the road is and it's definitely a great addition to her empire. Next up, Joey Graceffa logged onto the server one day and found a bunch of mushrooms around his base. And these were actually planted by Shubble, also known as the Wolf Princess now. So he went ahead and locked her up with Zornoth and went and tortured her for information. Other than that, we haven't seen a new build from Joey yet in uh, the series, but we did get a look at his creative uh, world where he's actually working on some designs that he's going to add in later. So definitely got a few big things coming to the server and it should be great when he finally decides to build that there. Next up, Catherine Elizabeth has probably made the most progress since our last episode. She has built up this entire floating island with a castle on top of it and it looks absolutely incredible. She went through a whole time lapse process of building the castle, doing some work on the bridges around and doing a lot of work on the island to not make it just a flat piece of land but a big round floating island that even has a waterfall pouring off the side of it. I'm loving the look of this build so far, a lot of different types of white blocks including calcite and wool and then she's also done a lot of different colors of wool on top. So obviously there's the blue here but she added in magenta later which I think looks really nice and then she did some more detail work on the outside of the base later in the episode and it looks amazing. She did a lot of wood uh, to kind of give a, a detailed exterior to this and I think it looks great. Definitely a great addition to her empire. I can't wait to see what she does on the interior of this castle as well. She did do uh, some work on the interior making the floor uh, but she hasn't really done a lot of like the storage rooms or anything that she's going to put on the inside of this castle. She did add outside the castle and on the small islands that lead up to the castle a lot of overgrown flowers which are a great fit for her empire. Definitely adds a very cool feature and it looks great with the moss and everything. She also wanted to make some crystal butterflies and she used amethyst and some glass for that. It really turned out like a great looking build. They do look like butterflies flying around the castle. So definitely a very beautiful build overall. Next up, LD Shadow Lady hasn't done any major builds since the last time we checked in on her, but she has done a complete musical with Scott. And if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check out her latest uh, Empire's episode on her channel because this musical was absolutely amazing. But it basically ended with her turning into a blue axolotl, so it'll definitely be interesting to see how this story arc plays out on the server. Mythical Sausage, now a good guy on the server, no longer corrupted by Zornoth, went ahead and worked on a castle build. This used to be a ruin that he had built, but he decided to completely renovate it, and it looks absolutely incredible now. I did of course love the overgrown ruins that he had here before, but now seeing it as an actual castle build, it definitely looks great. 
Also in this episode, Mythical Sausage went around the server to everybody else that he had killed and things like that and apologized to them and offered them things, really trying to uh, redeem everything that he did while under the corruption of Zorna. Next up, Smallish Beans has been doing some work as well. This was actually a small build over in Scott's Empire and he went ahead and built up Joey Graceffa's little pyramid as a little trap to leave for Scott. You'll have to go check out Scott's episode for what actually happened there. Next up, he started work on his mega base as well and built up the entire middle section of this base. He didn't do the roof yet, but he did do a solid three and a half hours of work on this whole section and it looks absolutely incredible. A lot of sandstone and very bright colors that really work with the rest of the kingdom. I definitely can't wait for him to finish the roof of this build. It's going to look absolutely incredible and I really can't wait to see the interior of this build as well. He's got a lot of room to work with on the interior so it's going to be really interesting to see what he does with all this room. He also is going to terraform a bit more of the surrounding area to really make it work so it'll be great to see when that happens as well. He also went ahead and removed all the corruption from around his empire starting off with these floating uh, crystals of lava and then going ahead and tearing down all the tendrils. It's definitely nice to see some of the empires recovering from the corruption that had spread across the server. He also went over to Solidarity's empire, the Cod Empire, and while he was AFK, he went ahead and put him into a plane somehow. Uh, he put him in a water elevator that boosted him up, and he ended up in a plane, so that's going to be very funny later on. Solidarity Gaming has also been working on his wall. He went ahead and finished off the towers on the outsides of the wall, and it looks absolutely amazing. The wall is of course filled with Cod, and is definitely a staple of the Cod Empire. These towers are of course to compete with the towers that Mythical Sausage has on his wall. Uh, you know, of course the Cod Empire has to have a better wall and better towers than that of its neighboring enemy empire of Mythical Sausage. Over in Scott's empire, he's been working on some Halloween decorations to really fit in with the season. He built up a scarecrow, covered uh, the surrounding area in pumpkins. He also discovered uh, the small little pyramid that was built by Smallish Beans, and he also built these ghosts as well. I think these ghosts actually look incredible. Uh, he used different types of banners and then some white stained glass, and he also went ahead and got some mini block heads and put them inside of stained glass, which I think is great. And as you can see here, he's actually riding Joey Graceffa's raptor and may have stolen it. Next up, we are checking out Pixel Rifts, who has probably made, uh, besides Catherine Elizabeth, the most progress on his megabase because he did a huge portion of it in his latest episode. The Copper King is working on the Ant Hill, and those blocks that he has stacked up in the center are actually the block palette of this build. This build is absolutely massive, and as you can see here, he's building the entire border of it. It's going to be very interesting to see this done. He finished a pretty big portion of it in this latest episode, but something like this takes a very, very long time to build, so it's great that he's pacing this build out a little bit. Unfortunately, since the last time we posted, uh, Pearlescent Moon hasn't uploaded another video, so we don't have any progress updates on her. She has been extremely busy with Hermitcraft and, of course, Last Life, so it's to be expected that her Empire's video might take a bit longer as well, but hopefully we do get a new video from her soon. Shovel as well, she has posted, but it's been a lot about the lore, so she hasn't done any major building uh, since working on her Mushroom Castle. She, of course, was interrogated and tortured uh, by Joey Graceffa, which we did look at earlier in the video, so that's the most progress we have on her right now. Pixel Rifts, though, is definitely looking amazing with this huge, huge terraforming project that he's working on. I really can't wait to see the finished product of this because it's going to be absolutely amazing. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. We'll be doing another progress update on the Empire's SMP in about a couple weeks. So if you want to check that out, come back to our channel then so you can see everything that's happened on the server since. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.